there's some problem here. Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. I helped them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back in and see me after the show. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for in wrong. Ooh. Our half-witted Hercules is as strong as a bull. <laughs> you, sir, would you assist? Me? Hell yeah. Come on up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, get out of here. Let's see. <laughs> oh. Young lad, I want you to hit him right here, right in the breadbasket. Go on, give him a real big suck. I don't know. Ah, oh, the only do danger it. is breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? Ah, come, come on, on. Do it, do it. Oh, all right. What kind of a two-bit show is this? Your freak nearly killed me. No, 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 Magnifico, the magnificent. 
magnificent! And I have tamed a beast! Drop him! Ha <laughs> ha! Ladies and gentlemen, I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of apparition! Oh my god! And dissipation! And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration. <laughs> Oof. What the hell is I that? have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now for my next feat. I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this Robio! Doing your nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up! Amateurs! Go follow your brother! Well, that's our show. <laughs> Thanks, Sandini. <laughs> All ticket sales are final. <laughs> well. Tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a 15-year-old boy. I raised him. from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting... <laughs> Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Uh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. Mister? Sir? That was absolutely delicious, my dear. Thank you. Well, I think a toast is in order, don't you? Here, let's fill that water glass, Tarkin. It's unlucky to cheers on an empty glass. Okay. Do the Trelawneys. It's good to be home. Hello? Trelawney? Uh, <clears throat> Arthur? What on earth are you doing here? Uh, I can't speak now. Sorry. Can we catch up in the office on Monday? Let's adjourn to the parlor, my dear. 
At a moment's peace. Damn, hold up. Excuse me. So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea, but I hear it's paradise. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill. You were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though, I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside, and <laughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you.
Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. Find some cover. Two up ahead. Have you got a shot? Something creepy about these statues. <laughs> Shoot that lock, Arthur. Good. Now take that damn door in. We got more inside. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah. Let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit.
Big man, we gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed <laughs> of. Our friends of Pinkerton's <laughs> gonna come and rescue you, you <laughs> repulsive little maggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Call them now. You call them! Jesus! Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch! The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. There she is. Arthur? I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to Good do day, this Good day, Mr. Job. Morgan. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. Jim? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. They'll pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, 
I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> Come on, Hosea, get moving. We ain't got all day. Whoa. Whoa. This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some big town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yeah. Got it. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard, stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. Hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. Hmm. This. This had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> I love that Hosea! He is a true artist. <laughs> Yeah. 
gentlemen. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a hold up! Don't do nothing stupid! for these safes. Tell him the combination. Come on, speak. Speak or die. Now. First number. Nineteen. Nineteen! Got it. Okay, now, what's the second number? Seventy-two. Seventy-two! Okay. Should be one more number. Last number. Come on! 54. You get that, Mr. M? 54. Yep. Okay, Would I'm in. Look at that. Holy shit, they were a joking. <laughs> Should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains! No more deals! Mr. Milton! This is America! You can always cut a deal! I've given you enough chances. Come on!
killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof, sir. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on! Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. <sighs> this whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Head for the docks. I hear voices. Fingertips. Everyone stay down. The rats will have to come out of their holes eventually. We should have had them in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Got men on every street. We can't stay here. Let's cut through the train. Follow me. Someone's coming. Duck. Hey! I already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure.
Stop, Arthur. Oh, damn it. We're never gonna get past these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. Everyone stay down and keep quiet. We've wasted enough time on these fools. Spencer said. See them? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah, let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently, so... When they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. <laughs> 